everybody and welcome back to the hangar. So today I'm going to get started on the rebuild process. Now you have seen a little bit here and I got a couple clips I'm going to show you right now. We were able to get the wings off and start investigating the different parts and pieces. So let me take you back and show you where we are getting to the point today. Anyways, here I am with 8 Lima November, and I've made some amazing progress like I'm going to show you, shown you just in a few minutes ago. But I have to thank the sponsor of this video, which is GRT Avionics. GRT is an amazing American company making really capable avionics for guys on a budget like me and you who are flying these amazing aircraft. So if you guys are building or looking into upgrading your systems, consider GRT Avionics and check out the offerings they have. I mean, you can start out with a Sporty X like I've got here. For about 1800 bucks, add in all the bells and whistles and have a very complete panel for under $5,000. So go to grtavionics.com and check out what they've got. Now let's get into today's workload. All right, well that pretty much finishes up tonight. I got the pilot side, leading edge, basically all taken apart, ready for the new ribs to go in. I still gotta pull off the two uh, gear, the, basically the two ribs that hold the gear channel, uh, but that shouldn't be too big a deal. It's just a handful of rivets and I've got an extension that I'm gonna do that with. So that'll be on <clears throat> later this week. As soon as I'm done with that, I'm gonna jump onto this side, get this side cleaned up just as much as I've got that side done. And then this week I'm also supposed to be getting the ribs in, I'm sorry, the uh, rear spar in so that I can get that replaced on this side, which makes me just that much closer to focusing on getting new wings built. Now also this week I found a legend in the Zenith community. Uh, his name is Jason. He lives down in Southern Arizona and he had purchased a, um, basically a cowling kit for his Zenith, but his actually came with one. So I've got the cowling over there so that I'll be able to install brand new cowling on this. So I've got the nose bowl uh, that I need to repair, but I've got the cowling, I've got the spinner, and I'm gonna be setting off the prop to Sensenix. So everything's coming together, and hopefully very, very soon, I'm gonna have this back in the air. So let's jump to the next time I'm able to work on this plane. All right, everybody, I'm back out of here again. In today's plan, I'm gonna get this side cleaned up just like I had the other side. And then by the end of the weekend, I want the leading edge ribs off here so that these wings are prepped or these outboard wings are prepped for all the parts I'm going to be picking, picking up at the end of this month so that we can get just one step closer to getting 8 Lima November back in the air. So let's just jump into today's job. I want to get these things cleared off and as soon as that's done we're one step closer to getting 8 Lima November back in the air. All 
All right, so we got all the top rivets off. Now to get the bottom, then we're gonna start cutting right down this line right here. And when we do that, we'll be able to expose this just like I have the other side, and we'll be that much closer to getting this wing prepped. So everybody back out at the hangar again today and off camera I was able to pull all of the uh, no skin off of this is the pilot side wing this is the one the impact of the ground and the reason I did that was so if you can see over here I was able to get out the fuel tank and all the parts I need there so I'm gonna pull off the uh, pitot tube and after that I think this wing is all done it's ready to basically go to the recycler or maybe I'll hang it on the wall I don't know but I've got uh, my friend who's an AMP coming out and we're going to expect the uh, rear spar to figure out how we're going to put in the splice plate. So if you're wondering why am I do just doing a splice as opposed to doing a brand new rear spar all the way across, well if you read AC43, AC43 allows us to do a splice as long as we follow all of the procedures outlined in AC43. So that's what we're going to do and he's going to show me how he would do it and obviously I'm going to follow his advice because you know this is what he does for a living. All right, so I got that wing taken apart. So this wing is done. There's nothing else I need with it. I've got the new wing coming in and then I'm gonna be moving my other wing onto the sawhorses so that I can assess and see if that's uh, just gonna be something we can just replace the rear, rear spar on. So let's get that moved over and check it out. All right, so here we are today and I've gotten all of the teardown complete for 8 Lima November. So what we've done is I've cleared off this wing, I've cleared off that wing. I've made this cut here so that I'll be able to splice in a new uh, skin in this position. And I talked to my friend who's an AMP. Uh, I mentioned his name is Alex. We've got the splice plates ready to go. So we got these from Zenith. This is the correct material. We're just gonna splice this into the rear section according to AC43. So that'll all be done here very, very shortly. So as far as inspections go, everything looks good. The only thing we had on the engine is I saw a single crack on the exhaust stack and we'll be able to weld that out again according to AC43. Now the wing, I've got it back there in the back. I did tear that apart and let me show you what I found on the wing that impacted the ground. So this is the wing that actually impacted the ground. So you notice I've got that wing tip is off. It's been munched. That has been munched. But if you look down the spar right here, I don't know if it comes through on the camera or not, but this entire section here is actually warped under. This is from the head itself. But from roughly this position out this way, the main spar is actually in good shape. It's just that area there. Luckily, I've got a new wing coming, or basically a kit that has a new wing skin on, or a whole new wing, so we'll be changing that out. Now, I did harvest all of the fuel pump, the wiring, pitot static, all, or pitot tube, all of that's right here that's going to go into the wing we're, that I'm picking up. And this wing here is the one that did not impact the ground. The only damage we were able to see on the entire wing is right here. And this is the rear spar. This is where the tire came off and impacted it. So the plan is I'm going to get the rear spar off of the new wing, splice it into this position right here, and that should get this wing back into action. So there is a path forward that we're going to be working for for 8 Lima November, and I think I'm going to be able to meet my goal. I don't want to tell you guys what the goal is yet, but I have a goal in mind for getting this thing back in the air repaired and ready to fly again. And I think it's realistic based on everything I've seen here. Um, even when me and the AMP went through the plane, his, his, thought, his exact quote was, that could have been a lot worse. I'm surprised at how minor the damage actually was. So we inspected the front spar, no damage at all. There was no tweak to it. It's perfectly straight all the way from tip to tip. So this main spar, didn't take any hit at all, which shocked me. I figured this was going to be damaged. I was going to have to swap that out with the parts plane, but came out that that has no issues whatsoever. So saved a lot of work, and that means that I'm a lot closer to getting this in the air. But I'll tell you what, guys, I'm going to end this video here. This is uh, going to be part one of hopefully no more than a three-part series, getting this plane back together. 
So for right now, this is me, Larry Nelson, telling you guys for projects like this, or that you got in your garage, get building, get flying, and I'll see you guys in the air next time. Catch me if I fall.